Count money, man. Money, Stack man. riches. Try, try, and told, try and told him I'm a beast, I'm bud. A What's up, gang? Welcome back to another episode of the Grindcast. Get ready. It's a new day. We're going to just empty the clip on a few thoughts um, that I have. And, and the first one is about stress. Um, I think we need to get to a place where we don't allow the stress of a moment or the stress of a day to keep us there all day. I think that is a that's a point where you can start to grow in as a person of we're all human. We're all going to have stressful moments in a day or stressful weeks or stressful situations. Just make sure we try to put that in a box the best that we can. It's not easy. That's why you got to work on it. Is being able to put that stress, that moment in a box and not allowing that to seep in blowing the rest of your day. Or the rest of your week. And this has to do with learning to control your emotions. Or fall victim to allowing your emotions to control you. And if you can't learn to take control of your emotions. And this is a person that used to not be great at controlling my own emotions. I wasn't good at controlling my emotions. I was described as hot tempered and would do stupid things without thinking and lose my cool and you know, all that stuff. And, you know, I learned that like, man, instead of being proud of that, of like, yeah, I'm a hothead or I'm, you know, whatever, I would start to look at it as weak as this is weak that other people, other circumstances, I could allow those people to have so much control over me and my emotions. I could make it make me happy or mad or, you know, or whatever. And I start looking at it as, as a challenge of let, let me start to learn to control my own emotions. I don't need to worry about nothing. I'm not threatened in any way. You know, it's different if you're like threatened, but like, Man, if it's just all noise and opinions and things that you can't control in life that happen, traffic and like, man, learn how to, let's see if you can discipline yourself to learn how to grow as a person. That it's easy for a child or a person to get upset over every little thing. What's hard is learning to control those things and turn them on and turn them off and typically you need to be able to turn them off put them in a box but we're human so we get sad we get mad we get frustrated we get angry but when you start to allow that thing in your day that happened for 30 minutes to make the whole rest of your day bad and out of 365 days I fail at this some days that's where I'm coming up with the message but I feel like I've learned to win more than then I lose, but I still have days in the year where I look at it and I'm like, man, you let that one thing upset you, piss you off that bad where it costed you a day of happiness. A day of joy. Two days where some people didn't even get a chance to wake up today. So don't let stress keep us there all day long. Next thing. Understand on the way up to where you're going from, you know, if you're at average right now, there ain't going to be as much drama for you as many people hating on you because they like for you to be right where they're at. As soon as you take off and you go to the next level, understand just people in general, but especially when you take off to go to the next level, people will attack you first and try to figure you out later. I heard that from T.D. Jakes. He said, people will attack you first and then try to figure you out later. People are always trying to attack you, attack your character, attack your life, attack what you're doing before they actually even know who you are or know exactly what the hell is going on in that situation, a moment. And so this is another behavior that I think helps people grow is to learn to try to not look at every person, every situation from a negative viewpoint, guilty until proven innocent, 
or judging them based on what's going on until you have an opportunity to know that person, learn that person, learn the whole situation. Because you'll start to see yourself that people will judge you, attack your character, attack who you are, whether you know it or don't, before they even meet you. They don't even know you. They don't even know what you've gone through. They don't know who you are as a person. They don't know. They're just judging and attacking who you are without even really getting to know you. The next thought was that loyalty is tested when we disagree. You know, I just got done talking about that recently, but you'll be tested in your loyalty. Anybody can be loyal when there's peace and plenty to go around but can you be loyal in pain and in poverty can you be loyal in good times and in bad times because a lot of times when people start losing loyalty is when they lose sight for the vision of the future that the future can be brighter than it currently is right now. And so we have to work through this together. I have to support you in this moment because I know we can, it's not always going to be this way. And most people jump off the ship when there's obstacles, turbulence, problems, and issues. And so how do you really know if somebody's loyal not that we play for hard times or we pray for hard times or we want hard times, but really you really can't tell who's loyal until everything isn't, isn't sweet. And they say the biggest enemy of vision is sight. What does that mean? That for, for you to have a vision that goes beyond where you're currently at. You have to give up sight of just looking at this is where it looks like right now, black and white. This is what my life looks like right now. This is what my body looks like right now. This is what my situation looks like right now. This is what it is. This is the sight. This is the thing that I'm seeing. But vision is you being able to see things for better than they currently are right now. Further on down the road, after you've been able to climb out of the, the situation or the hole or the process for where you're at, but that takes discipline, focus, and it takes special stuff. That's why in the Bible, it, it, in Proverbs, it says where there's no vision, people perish. Where there's no vision, people perish. Now, am I a pastor? No. Am I a perfect person? No. You know, as, as, when I was on the message talking about people will attack you first and then try to figure you out later. You know, I, I'm all, I, you always hear people talking about, oh, well, you know, they read the Bible, but they get angry or they read the Bible and then they do this. You know, people are just always, when, once you start trying to get yourself better, the minute that you do anything, Oh, he's drinking a beer, but he's reading the Bible. Or, yep, you're human, but you're reading the Bible. That's why we're at the gym, because we're not in good enough shape. That's why we're working on ourselves, because we're not in good enough shape. Now, that's not an excuse. That can't You can't let that be an excuse for you. But what I'm trying to say is, is I'm not a pastor. I'm not a perfect person, but I do dig in. Everybody that knows me, I'm, you know, I'm reading a chapter of Proverbs a day based on whatever the date is and trying to grow my spirit, trying to grow, you know, my my spiritual uh, self, my inner self. I think you have a, I think you got issues when you're bigger on the outside than you are on the inside. And bigger, not necessarily, but just better. Whether like, man, I'm a female and I'm, I'm so much into my figure and, and looking good and in shape, which is great. But how are you on the inside? How much time are you putting on your spirit? How much time, what, what would your spirit body look like? What would your mental body look like? Because we could put all this time into our physical body and not tend to our internal body. And you got to be bigger on the inside than you are on the outside. Because here's another scripture. 
uh, verse for you. Matthew 26, 41. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. That means I want to. Inside, I really, really want to, but my body don't really feel like it. That 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 is that means that the spirit is willing, like we want to, but the flesh of like getting your body to actually wake up is weak. It's hard to do. It's easy to want to do it. You know you need to get up earlier. You know you need to put in more work. My spirit tells me I gotta be more, I should be a better person. I should be more loyal. I should give more money away. I should give more of my time. I should do something better. My spirit, I want to. I think people, most people do have good intentions. But that, that, mm, I got to actually give up this money. I actually got to wake up when the alarm clock goes off. I actually got to say no to that thing. My flesh wants to eat that thing, that sugar, that do that. My flesh wants to do it. And so we just got to try to develop that inner person to be big enough to not give in to the flesh when our spirit and our soul is telling us what's right, what we need to do, what we got to do. And that happens by developing yourself internally, not just externally. Because if you only develop your body externally, at some point things in life are going to pop up to you and you can't handle them internally. And that deals with your ability to control your emotions. And you control your emotions by learning to develop and work and sh work on and strengthen your mental before you're injured already. Learning to strengthen and work on your spirit, getting in shape before you're injured already. Because one thing's for sure. You're going to go through obstacles. You're going to go through adversity. You're going to have hardships. There's going to be things in life. Life alone is tough. Whether you're rich, you're poor, you're in a good area, bad area, you got two parents, you got one parent. Man, at just some point, it seems like life is just, life is going to get you out there. Different prices, different times, different moments, different situations. But at some point, you're going to get it. Don't let yourself be stopped. Don't let yourself be taken down by things that happen to you in life or life just happens in general and emotionally you don't know how to handle it and, 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 and get past that situation. And then you try to get past that situation right then and there. It's like trying to get in shape a week before the game or the day of the game. It's too late to get in shape to play basketball the day of the basketball game. It's too late to get in shape to play football the day of the football game. We got to work on getting in shape before the game starts, way before that game starts. How long does it take to get yourself in shape? Eight weeks, 12 weeks? We got we to gotta work on it in advance because a game is coming your way. This game of life is coming your way, and it hits you, and it hits you hard, and it hits you first emotionally. And so develop that internal spirit, the mental, the physical, the spiritual, the, inter the whole self of you. Because show me a dream that you got that's big and I'm going to show you a you that needs to be bigger than that dream. You got to be big enough to fit that dream in it. The dream isn't the issue. Having the vision, that's great. That's a first, that's a, that's a big step. But becoming the person that you need to be to accomplish those goals and dreams is the key element and the key component. Or else you'll get it and not be able to keep it. Or you'll never get it. Because you're worried about getting it versus being it. And you got to learn how to be it before you get it if you want to keep it. It's being all that you can be. So I just want to encourage you guys out there on the struggle, on the hustle, on the grind. That if you got obstacles coming your way, that's normal. Congratulations. That's part of the journey, getting uncomfortable. Change is uncomfortable. Growth is uncomfortable. If you're uncomfortable, get comfortable being uncomfortable. Failure is a part of the journey. Keep failing forward. Keep learning from your mistakes. Keep learning from your mishaps. Use mentors. 
to shorten down that process, people would experience and mentors of yours that you could run things by without that'll cut down the time that it takes you to get there, stop you from making a bunch of mistakes and keep growing yourself internally to prepare yourself for the external battle that you're going to have to go through where you're going to have to win the battle that your flesh ain't going to want to do it, but your spirit's going to want to do it. We got to develop that inside to get you to where you want to be outside. Thanks for joining us inside the Grindcast. And, and if you know anybody out there that might be able to be impacted by what we said today, what we talked about today, don't, don't keep it to yourself. All I'm asking you guys to do, we ain't charging nobody for nothing like this. We ain't making money on this stuff. Just share it with people. Let's, let's share the message. Let's try to impact people together. And I'm always grateful for any amount of time that somebody would invest into me because you could have been doing anything else today, but you chose to spend 15, 16 minutes with me and, and with us, and we appreciate it. So thanks for joining us on another episode of the Grindcast. Get ready. It's a new day. Yeah.